When you are working in 3 d Go Sculpt Workspace, you have the option to sculpt on one side of the model without symmetry turned on. And later, have 3 d Coat copy it over using the sim copy command with this icon at the bottom of the box tree panel. You can also access it from the geometry menu here using a hotkey as well. You first want to turn symmetry on and then use that command. However, there are occasions where you may find that you don't want to copy the entire side of an axis plane, but just a portion of your model. And that's what we're going to focus on in this video, how to sim copy in a localized fashion. Let's go ahead and look at the copy tool first. I'm going to turn symmetry off for now. In the symmetry panel, you can use toggle symmetry. So if you already have your symmetry plane set up, you can just turn it on and turn it off with a hotkey. What I'm going to do now is create a new layer. And normally I would want to match the resolution of this voxel layer, this original one. But I don't necessarily need the resolution that I would um, need here in the face region back here around the neck. This is a more intermediate level of resolution, so I don't necessarily have to match this level. So I'm going to increase the resolution to just four levels. And in the E panel, I'll choose a brush draw mode. I also want to choose a shader that is contrasted from the original, because if I use the original, then I won't see the copy. Once I select a different shader for the copied layer, now I can actually see that copy. Let's right click and drag to increase the brush size. Let's hide the original. You can see the result. With that copied, now I want to turn symmetry on and click apply symmetry. Let's turn symmetry off for the moment. And we will come to the right side of the layer, hold down the shift key so that as we drag it on top of the original, it will merge it with the original. Okay, and there we have it. You will notice that it adopted the same resolution and the same shader. It's part of the original layer now. So if we need, we can go in and clean up if necessary. Now in this example, we're going to use the reproject tool. But before I do that, I'm going to create a duplicate here. I'll clone and degrade. I could also just create a simple duplicate here with this icon. But in this instance, I'm going to degrade it in the same process. And as we did previously, we want to make sure that our copy layer has a different shader. And that way we can see the difference between the two as we work. All right. I'll hide temporarily the original. And with this one, we want to apply a symmetrical copy. I first need to turn symmetry on. And now just tap the side I want to copy from and click the icon. Okay, so we have a copy now. I'll unhide the original. So we can see it's rather asymmetric in many places. So uh, we just want to copy in this region. To do so, um, I'm going to select the copy layer and with the reproject tool, we have auto ghosting turned on by default. We can turn that off if we need. But let's preview the outer shell. And we can scrub the outer distance until we see none of the ghosted volume protruding through. And do likewise with the inner shell. That's about right. 
And now with a brush draw mode, I can select the original and begin brushing and see it project beneath my brush. So let's hide the copy version and we can see the original layer and our work is done. So that's a quick look at applying symmetry in a localized fashion. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.